Did you know that the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, has three executive directors? The Executive Director of Finance and Admin, the Executive Director of Operations, and the Executive Director of Maritime Labor and Cabotage Services. Check them out on our website for more information. Welcome to NIMASA This Week. I am Eugenia Abu. It's always good to see you. operating coastal voyage in Nigeria must mandatorily have on board the following vessel logbook, vessel port of call, vessel particulars which include registry certificates, safety equipment certificates such as safe manning certificates, builder certificates, load line certificates, tonnage certificates, radio certificate, insurance certificates, classification certificates, passenger ship safety certificate, service certificates, cargo ship certificates, and waiver certificates or receipts. Vessel owners, captains, shipping agents, and members of the public are advised to note and comply. Dr. Dayo Mobereola has been working tirelessly week in, week out to ensure that the Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, is head and neck with the best of the best in the world. Take a look at some of the things he has been up to. As part of ongoing efforts to strengthen collaboration between the Nigerian Navy and NIMASA, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, the Chief of Naval Staff, led a delegation of senior naval officers on a working visit to the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency. Speaking during the visit, Vice Admiral Ogala commended NIMASA's efforts in implementing national and international maritime regulations and pledged the Nigerian Navy's support for the agency's success. Uh, I want to first appreciate you particularly and NIMASA in general for the collaboration that we have been having with uh, NIMASA. It is a collaboration that is intended for us to achieve the goal of the federal government towards promoting security and safety in our maritime environment and towards promoting the enabling environment for businesses to thrive and by so doing increasing uh, the contribution of the maritime environment to our GDP. As we all know here, the collaboration between the Nigerian Navy and the Massa dates back to many years. I am privileged to have been there when it started. It started from the hydro department that was detached to, to be here in Nimasa before we now developed into the DBU project, the Maritime Guard Commander, Command project, and so on and so forth. All these are intended for us to jointly achieve the objective of the federal government in terms of promoting the, 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 the uh, utilization of the blue economy. We are mindful of the fact that the role we are playing in NIMASA is a supporting role. And NIMASA being the regulator, being the lead agency in terms of regulation of the maritime environment, in terms of safety within our maritime environment, it is behoves on us to give you maximum support to achieve that. Because if you look at our rules as prescribed in the Armed Forces Act, it says assisting and coordinating the enforcement of all maritime laws acceded to by Nigeria. And the word assisting and coordinating the enforcement means that we are to assist you and we are to coordinate with you. So as you make the rules, as you try to enforce the rules, it behoves on us to give you maximum support to be able to achieve that objective. Speaking further, the Chief of Naval Staff also commended the agency C4I Center of the Deep Blue Project and NIMASA's implementation of the Cabotage Act. I want to acknowledge and also commend the agency for your consistent effort, particularly in the uh, implementation of the cabotage laws in Nigeria. Uh, we understand that it's a very daunting task, but NIMASA over the years have shown capacity, have shown willingness to do exactly that which it was meant to do. So we'll continue to fill in the gaps and wherever you require us in implementing those laws, 
We are always there for you. On his part, the Nemasa DG, Dr. Daya Mubariela, acknowledged the role the Nigerian Navy has played over the years in supporting Nemasa to implement its mandates. Dr. Mubariela used the opportunity to assure the Navy of the continuous support of the agency, noting that it will be for the overall benefit of the country. We are here to um, acknowledge the collaboration that has um, been going on between the Navy and the Massa over the years. To start with, we have been be together, we have been able to reduce piracy to uh, zero in the last uh, two years. Um, also, uh, we have reduced drastically uh, ICA robberies, and um, we want to maintain that. And um, when you look at the economy of Nigeria, you would strongly believe, and I'm sure you believe, that the blue economy is where the opportunity is. And if the environment is not safe, then we cannot uh, attract the investment, the safety of the marine economy is important. The safety of the marine environment is key to the development of the uh, GDP of Nigeria. So we appreciate what we have done so far. We appreciate and we look forward to ensuring that um, we work together in future. This is Nemasa This Week, where we bring you views and news on the maritime sector in Nigeria and across the globe. Don't go away. The Honorable Minister of State for Defense, Dr. Bello Matawale, also embarked on a working visit to the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, Nemasa. His mission was to inspect the agency's command, control, computer, communication and information system of the Deep Blue Project popularly called the C4I Center. Shortly after listening to the operators at the center, Dr. Matawale expressed delight at what he had seen, stating that the Defense Ministry is desirous of integrating the C4I with the Falcon I system of the Nigerian Navy. Well, I'm impressed with the facility that I have seen, uh, the C4I uh, facility, which uh, now we're going to think and see how it can be integrated with the Falcon I of the Nigerian Navy because all we need is to see how to secure our uh, uh, maritime domain. Both the, merit, uh, both the uh, Navy and the Massa must work together to make sure that we get the desired result that we want. Yeah, all of them are doing very well, and uh, that's why we want them to work together and to be integrated so that they should be communicating to each other. If the Polkwan I and C4I are communicating, so if we have any crisis, one of them should communicate to each other so that they should be able uh, to push out the criminals in the uh, backwater and the, in the high sea. The Nimasa C4I Center, with manpower composed of personnel from all security services in Nigeria, serves as the central nerve of the Deep Blue Project. Utilizing modern technology, it facilitates real-time security information sharing among all Deep Blue assets, including the special mission vessels, helicopters, aircraft, fast intervention vessels, and specially purpose-built armored vehicles. Meanwhile, the Falcon Eye system of the Nigerian Navy is a state-of-the-art surveillance facility that incorporates various sensors located along the nation's extensive coastline. These sensors include radars, long-range electro-optic systems with thermal or night vision capability, automatic identification system receivers, weather stations, 
and marine very high frequency radios for communication. Nimasa's executive directors, who were also present during the visit, addressed the media. It showed the seriousness of our, our government in making sure that uh, our waterway is secured and is here to see which area it can, of important that it can support us more. C4I is on its own, it's a very capable setup and the Falcon safety, but when we come back together, I know we are going to get it better than what we used to do before. A brief was done um, to him to actually understand what the C4I is all about and um, he also brought about proposals of how the Falcon Eye can actually be intertwined um, with C4I to make it more robust. Uh, because right now as it is, um, we actually do have a lot of vessels you know, that are on our waterways that are going unchecked. But then with this collaboration with the um, Nigerian Navy and NIMASA, I'm sure that would improve a lot. The venue was the Navy town in Ojo, and the event was the capability demonstration by the Intervention Force of the Maritime Security Unit. Dignitaries present witnessed absolute professionalism as a simulation of piracy attack and effective repelling by the Deep Blue Team. The demonstration featured special mission vehicles DB Abuja and DB Lagos, fast interceptor boats and special mission helicopters showcasing various tactics such as boat formation, vessel boarding and overtake with the interceptor boats. Scenario simulated how the interceptor boats came with special intervention force operatives to liberate the attacked vessel. The helicopters were used to drop the special forces onto the vessel under attack. This is casualty evacuation as the team is well equipped for all scenarios. At last, the hostage takers were repelled and apprehended. With SIF men boarding from all sides including from the air,
The Deep Blue Task Group has keyed into the existing maritime security architecture to ensure that identified gaps along the Nigerian maritime coastline are closed from Badagri to Calabar. The Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency has commenced a verification exercise for disengaged seafarers of the defunct National Shipping Line and the National Unity Line. The exercise took place at various locations across the country, and beneficiaries were full of gratitude to NIMASA. The next of kin of some of the beneficiaries were also on hand for the exercise. We have been fighting this thing more than 25 years ago. But uh, I must really congratulate this government, the Tunuku government, for showing interest to cross our borders. Because a lot of us are born. But uh, glory be to God for those that are still alive to receive it for themselves. More than 20 years. More than. I'll be waiting for it. Even my mommy also waits for it. She's late now. I was here yesterday actually. But today, I was able to complete everything they said I should do. And I'm done with it. Everything I presented, I'm done. Well, this process is process of verification of the agency for us for the payment of their pension. The last exercise was done around 2008, where we were paid gratuity. And we've been on the struggle for about 20 something years. But thank God for the present agenda of the new hope that brought hope to this uh, agency for us. And you can see that the exercise is ongoing for them to be verified. The challenge that led to the delay payment is just because of insensitivity of some of the government officials, because the judgment that was obtained from the uh, uh, Nigerian Industrial Court that uh, says this agency for us must be paid stipulated that they can pay them gratuity and pension. But then government pay them gratuity and then maybe the pension. And we've been on it all this while, but thank God today, the government has risen with us and now they want to do the right thing. Uh, it's a thing of uh, joy. I really appreciate very much God, first and foremost, for giving me life. Because everything is in the hand of God. So it's a privilege for me to be alive, to be a partaker. Believing God for the finishing part of it. So the verification is something is free and fair. I'm the next of king for the CFR. I would say um, it's, 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 it's a really very free and smooth operation despite um, the, the crowd. I um, think the, the committee, they actually um, did a kind of a good job. You know, try to make sure that people are well coordinated. But I think one of the challenges was just that the, the, the crowd was just small, so you have to get your number and uh, you know, assign enough patient before you get to your own uh, number for you to be actually be interviewed. So I came yesterday, but I was unable to complete my I came back this morning, and which I've successfully done my own uh, uh, interview and everything as successfully. Comrade Adewale Adenyoju. 
President General of the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria, was present at the Lagos exercise and spoke exclusively to Nimasa this week. Well, you know, this matter has been ongoing for almost uh, 20 or 23 years ago. It has to do with their pensions, the agency freelancers that have been uh, retired from the service. And you know quite well that uh, NNSA is uh, one of the government parastata that was uh, liquidated along with all the workers in the, in the parastata. So what you are seeing today is, uh, is an exercise that the government has given directly that all the agency freelancers uh, retirees, those who have not collected their pensions, should be verified physically, and that is what we are saying today. Why they have not been paid up to this stage has to do with uh, some group cases that has to it. Government come, government go. But I think this present government, through the new DG and the former DG, are putting all their missionary motion to make sure that the people are being verified and paid. So there won't be any issue of uh, people that have contributed to the success of seafaring in Nigeria would not be what the robust. This is a vessel just leaving Lagos Harbour and you can see the smoke emission. The main cause of black smoke is an imbalance in the air-fuel ratio. This means that there is either a shortage of air or the fuel supply to the injector is not being treated properly. The black smoke comprises particulates, which are large fuel particles that are not broken down during combustion due to a lack of oxygen. The regulations for the prevention of air pollution from ships Annex 6 of the MAPO Convention seeks to control airborne emission from ships and NIMASA is committed to reducing or completely eradicating pollution from ships. What are you anchored on this week? For me, I'm anchored on beauty this week, specifically the beauty of a ship on approach. It's majestic, it's beautiful and it's a sight for sore eyes. Introducing the Nemasa Distress Response Call Lines for all maritime stakeholders, ship owners, seafarers, ship captains, whatever your challenge or distress in the Nigerian maritime domain, please call 0800-0685-167-0708-0005-956-0700-0700-010. If you can't reach us on these lines, please call. 0700-0700-020-0700-0700-030. Also via VHF Radio Channel 16. Call and Nimasa will respond. And it's a wrap on Nimasa this week. Join us again next week. On behalf of the team, I am Eugenia Abu. Thank you for staying with us. <laughs>